Hi guys, Aquaji here. Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be teaching the Mac users out there how to get your background audio, output audio working on OBS. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so if you go over to your settings in OBS uh, Studios and then you go over to Audio, uh, if you try to click on something like desktop audio device or desktop audio device 2, it won't let you select anything because it'll say it is disabled. Now the way to fix this is by uh, getting an application that will let you record your audio um, or stream your audio if you're streaming, which is what I use OBS for. Uh, but yeah, let me show you how to do this. And yeah, this is probably the best solution for this problem. Uh, basically, OBS is not completely compatible with Macs. Um, so this is probably probably the main compat compatibility issue that I've found um, probably with these two things. Um, but yeah, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to uh, this uh, website, um, the shiny white box help um, thing to download the iShowU audio capture uh, installation. So you click on download installer and don't worry. I've done it before, so you're not going to get a virus. Um, but yes, yeah, so you do that, and uh, you pretty much go through the process of downloading it on the Mac. And also, I will leave the link down below um, for this uh, this website. And yeah, that should help. Okay, so you're going to do a spotlight search on your computer now to find the MIDI audio setup. So you can just type that into your spotlight search uh, by clicking um, command space or yeah command space so you do MIDI and yeah here it should pop up. Okay so now that you are here you're going to click on this plus and you're going to click create multi output device. So once you do this you'll have these two things. Um, you'll have built in output and also I show you audio capture. Uh, now, if you've downloaded it correctly, and yeah, you can select that, um, and yeah, then you'll have that selected as another option, and you'll pick this as the master device. All right, so now once you've done that, you're going to go to the top of your computer, to the little Mac button, and you're going to click on it. You're going to do System Preferences, then you're going to click on Sound, and then you're going to click on uh, Multi. Um, multi-output device, uh, aggregate device. So once you click on that, uh, it'll change, and now you'll be recording that. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you do it. Um, but yeah, pretty much I switch back and forth. Uh, when I'm live streaming, I always make sure to click on this, and it's pretty easy to do once you figure it out. Yeah, that's how you do it, and then you can go back to OBS. And yeah, at this point, you will be able to uh, click this as a um, device here, the I show you audio capture, and yeah, you'll be able to um, add a source, background source. All right, so now when you're here, if you look at this, this will move um, if you're making a um, mic um, number two, it'll move and it will make sounds based on what's being played in the background. Um, but yeah, that will work when you do that. So I hope this tutorial helped everyone. Um, if you guys need any help with it, I will be sure to answer questions below in the comments if I can. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And also, I do a lot of Minecraft live streams and videos. So yeah, uh, if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. And subscribe for more helpful tips possibly coming soon. Alright guys, that's going to be it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.